This is the main window of the software Health Correlator for Excel. To get to this window, you have to load the um, Excel file, which is, in this case, uh, an Excel with macro-enabled uh, option. That's X XLSM file. And you need to enable macros. Uh, without enable ma enabling macros uh, to run, uh, which is a security option, that you have with your version of Excel, Microsoft Excel, you will not be able to access the uh, functionality of the software. The software needs to have Microsoft Excel installed uh, before it can be run. Uh, the features of the software are run, are accessed through buttons and the most important are the ones here under Analyze. Um, the most important one is this one here, Calculate Associations and Plot Graphs, because that's what the software does. Uh, the software takes a number of variables and uh, data on those variables and calculates all possible uh, associations between all possible pairs of variables and graphs. The software has two, it starts with two main sheets. The main window sheet, which is this one, that's essentially a menu sheet, and the health data sheet, which contains data about several variables. Uh, the data is uh, shown in columns. This is a sample data set that comes with the software. Uh, it starts with the names of the variables at the top, in this case here, strength training would be a variable that would measure the amount of strength, strength training conducted by an individual. Weight is in pounds, niacin intake in grams, and so on. And each row is a data point for uh, the variable that is that has the name on the top. Now when we go there and we click on calculate associations and plot graphs, the software does uh, it several calculations and generates its output on the screen. That's the output of the software. It's two windows, one on the left with all possible associations between pairs of variables, always one variable at the top. Let me isolate here HDL cholesterol. And HDL cholesterol, note that it was numbered as five. So if I want the graphs, for this variable, I go to graphs 5, and I have then all the graphs here relating HDL cholesterol with all of the variables in the model. Now, these are uh, graphs uh, that, that show how the variables uh, vary, the relationship between the variables. And on the left here, we have coefficients of association, which measure the degree to which these variables vary together. For example, for niacin intake in grams, I have a coefficient of association of 0.813, which is strong. Anything here above 0.6 could be considered strong. And the more data points or rows in the health data sheet, uh, the more reliable these coefficients of association become. Uh, I would say that for uh, for the purposes of uh, credibility of these numbers, uh, when you get to about 30, they start becoming quite reliable. Uh, still, you can um, obtain numbers, uh, obtain these coefficients of association even for five data points. Less than that becomes very unreliable. So, what this means is that niacin is a strong cause of HDL cholesterol because niacin is a plausible cause for HDL cholesterol and is strongly associated with it. Weight in pounds is also strongly associated with HDL cholesterol, a little bit less than niacin in taking grams, uh, and the association is negative, meaning that it, when weight increases, HDL cholesterol decreases. So this is the meaning of uh, these coefficients of association. As you can see, the, coefficient of, uh, the coefficients of association give you the strength of the relationship between variables and the graphs give the shape of the relationship. So they give different pieces of information. 
Now if you want to close out of here and go to the main window, you can just close one of the windows, maximize the other, and then go back to the main window where you can do a number of things. Um, uh, you can, if you want to go back to those associations and graphs, you can split uh, associations and graphs windows again in order to see them. This concludes this demo.